There were about 90 people in our group of tourists ambling from Amsterdam in the Netherlands up to Luzerne in Sweden. In Heidelberg, Germany, I met one of the couple of dozen Mississippians on the trip with us, Irene Osborne from Fulton in Etiwamba County. Now, my attention was abruptly pulled back from European castles and cathedrals and churches to Mississippi when Irene told me her granddad was a Northeast Mississippi potter, W.D. Suggs from Smithville. And she really got my attention when she told me that in addition to jugs and churns and other utility items, that he also made something I've seen all of my life in that part of the state. But he also did something unique. He used the Lloyd patent to make cemetery markers. And I knew exactly what Irene was talking about. I've been fascinated by the pottery markers with the gray salt glaze and cobalt blue lettering since I was a child and saw them all over the graveyard where my grandparents are buried in Inawamba County. In a state where we have very little native stone and in a time when in the foothills of the Appalachians there wasn't a lot of money to mail order headstones from elsewhere, these simple markers were an affordable permanent alternative to using a wooden marker or simply planting a tree to mark a grave. Many potters made these type markers, but Irene and a cousin can spot their granddad's marker by the subtle shade of color he used. He had uh, um, a certain blue glaze that he used to distinguish his in a, in a manner that we knew what we were looking for. As a bonus, these simple markers are still very legible today, a century after they were placed, when stone markers of the day have faded. Europe is beautiful and magnificent, but I'm really glad I got to find out more about the simple dignity of something I've wondered about in Mississippi all of my life.